aloha, Moana Lua High School students and surfers on the World Wide Web. Do you feel nervous speaking to a group of 30 people? What about 100 or 300? What about 1,000 people? It doesn't matter whether you're an experienced speaker or a novice. Everyone feels some level of anxiety depending on the number of people in the audience or who's in it. This video will help you manage stage fright so that what may seem like a mountain can be reduced to a molehill. There are nine strategies you can try. The first one is fairly obvious. Practice your speech. Say it aloud a minimum of seven times. I call this the rule of seven. So often speakers read their scripts over and over thinking, when the time comes, it will flow. The human brain is not wired this way. You have to speak. In fact, if you say your speech aloud seven times a day, seven days a week, by the 49th time, you will be fluent and rarely need to glance at your notes. My second recommendation is that you visualize your performance. When you're rehearsing, picture yourself doing a fabulous job. Deliver your speech as though you've already been through it. Your brain doesn't know the difference. When the time actually comes, it should feel like deja vu. And this will boost your confidence. Another good strategy is arriving early and visualizing your speech in the space you're given. This is especially important if you have visual aids or a projector. Walk around the area and get a feel for the acoustics. Imagine yourself sounding awesome. And you will. Fourth on the list is staying in the moment. This is the biggest psychological hurdle for many speakers. Focusing on the present is tough because some people have a hard time letting go of negative memories, while others cannot stop worrying about the future. People say, don't worry. This is easier said than done. The best advice I can give is that you watch the movie, The Last Samurai. In one scene, the main character joins a band of samurai and practices fencing with wooden swords. He is repeatedly and harshly beaten by his main rival until one day his friend rushes to his side and says, too many mine. He then realizes that in order to be successful, he must stay laser focused on the present moment. The two men resume trading blows, and much to the surprise of the samurai gathered, the match ends in a draw. Staying in the present moment can make you much more effective. Let's go on to number five, rewire your attitude. If you keep telling yourself, I'm nervous, you will be. Instead, what if you said, I'm excited. Both emotions feel the same. Your pulse quickens, your breathing does too. But what can be different is your attitude. Tell yourself, I can do this. As the famous Zig Ziglar said, let your attitude determine your altitude. What else can you do? Breathe deeply. Studies have shown that taking deep belly breaths
can help you calm down. There are many workshops, internet sources, and yoga classes that can show you how it's done. It is an ancient method of helping people stay in the moment. If you practice enough, it can work. The next strategy is not obvious. Believe it or not, standing like Superman can help. Actually, any open pose held for at least two minutes works. It changes the chemistry of your brain and helps you feel more confident. Of course, this will look a little odd in a classroom setting, but if you're backstage, you can do this without raising any eyebrows. Are there strategies that are a little less obvious? You can try number eight, reflexology. If you're nervous, try massaging your index finger gently for two minutes. If you just have mild anxiety, massage your thumb for at least two minutes. Think about it. Babies suck on their thumbs to calm themselves down. If it works for them, why wouldn't it work for you? The final strategy I'd like to share is probably the most important. Shift your focus. Some people make themselves nervous wrecks by constantly thinking about themselves. Shift your focus to the needs of the audience. You have an important message. Deliver it the way it was meant to be shared. Some trainers say, imagine the audience in its underwear. I think this is very poor advice. All that does is encourage you to look down on people instead of relating to them. This may work in the short run, but in the long run, your development as a great speaker depends on your ability to connect with the audience on the same level. Concentrate on their needs and you will be a hit. There you have it, nine strategies to help you overcome what's been holding you back. Everyone is different. So if one strategy doesn't work, try another or try a combination. Isn't it time you take control of your destiny and learn to speak confidently before audiences of thousands? <laughs>